Vivi. You have awakened as a champion, and I believe you have washed your hands of the Federation. However, there are many in Figaro who view an army of black mages, and one that served Bahamut, with considerable suspicion. Can you offer us your allegiance all the same? Edgar, sir. I know it's just words, but I've heard enough about what the Federation's done to understand that it's not right. Maybe I can help you somehow, or maybe I can't. All I can tell you is that I'm willing to try. I'm going to prove myself to you and to your people. Eloquently stated. Yes, they'll warn to you soon. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. With them out in the field, your men can stay here and get some much needed rest. Think happy thoughts. You're refusing to see the problem at all. I tell you, sire, you are far too trusting of them. Those things started out as mirages. And for all we know, they're still spying on us. I'll just have to keep an eye on them for the both of us. I beg of you, do not allow their cunning to win you over. Stay vigilant, sire. Really now, spying on us. Well, maybe should be able to weather it. Patrol? You work so hard. Huh? You're that... Listen here. I have a few words for you and... Oh, yeah. Outside I found this beautiful flower. You can have it if you like. Hmm? Uh, oh. It's so strange. I thought Figaro was nothing but desert, but that isn't true at all now, is it? And we wouldn't have such pretty flowers if the kingdom's finest weren't out there bravely defending the castle. Ah! Oops! I'm gonna be late for training. Pardon the intrusion, sir. Uh, uh, it is a lovely flower. That Vivi. You just can't help but like the kid, you know? Thanks to the Black Mages, Figaro's defenses are stronger than ever. We're lucky to have him around. <sighs> Reasonable, and I never told anyone the black mages aren't capable. I just... I just want everyone to play things on the safe side. Oh! Captain, sir, I already cleaned up around there a while ago. But if it still needs work, I'll be happy to give it another go. What? Oh, oh is that so? Fine work, I'm sure. You just run along now. Go on, uh, get some rest. Okay. Hello there, Captain, sir. Oh, no. Your uniform got torn. Want me to stitch it up for you later? What? Oh, uh, thank you. Wow, sir, look at your hands. They're so huge. Hey, Captain. 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 What has gotten into me? I'm like a man possessed. I can't get Vivi out of my head. You know what? I'll suck it up and just say it. We need him. He's become an indispensable member of our kingdom. King Edgar could see it. He was completely right about the boy. What a resilient lad. <laughs> I salute you, Vivi. Mine is a hard mind to change. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. Uh, considering the operation at hand, I felt that their ranged magic would be the best fit. 
I understand your reservations, but you need to learn to trust Vivi and the other You're Black refusing to see the problem at all! You're putting them in too much danger, sire! How can you foist all the hardest missions on them? Huh? If anything were to happen to the Black Mages, it would be a devastating loss for the Kingdom of Figaro! My men will join them, sire. Just watch. We will keep them safe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get ready. What in the world is going on? Edgar, the Black Mages are ready to leave at any time. Hmm. You are a sly one, Vivi. Huh? Oh, never mind. Listen up. Today, the Castle Guard will be deploying with you. Don't let them down. I knew that I was right to place my trust in them. The Black Mages and Figaro are going to be fast friends. Still, who did Vivi win the captain over? 